Hello and welcome to the second Scala tutorial in my installment. And in this tutorial, if you've been, if you uh, uh, went through the first one, we'll give you an understanding of Hello World and what what what's going on. Like, uh, and we're going to use a very imperative style, so anyone coming from C++ or Java will be very familiar with the syntax here. Okay, so let's start up Eclipse. And Okay, and I need to delete this so I can do it again. Okay, so we're going to want to create a new Scala project, which can be found in the Scala Wizards. And we're going to name it, let's say, Hello Scala. Uh, let's go ahead and finish. And uh, in the sources, we want to create a new object. And let's name this hello scala for the simplicity of it okay so this gives us our basic object and in the last video I said I would explain what an object is more thoroughly and uh, if you're not familiar with singletons basically it's a global instance of the class so it's basically like saying new hello scala and your entire program use, uses that one instance and in this case, we have our entry point, so that makes perfect sense. There's not going to be multiple entry points. So uh, let's go ahead and create our entry point. And you start off all um, functions with the def keyword, which uh, is just standard. And you get the name after that, which will be main in this case. And then go, comes your first parameter list. Um, and we're not going to get into second parameter list and all that cool stuff in, t in this tutorial anyway. But anyway, your your parameter in this case will be args, and you can have multiple parameters of course, uh, but main only takes one being args, and it's going to be in an array of strings. So basically what's going on right here is um, the type of the variable is put after the variable name, and this is for several reasons. Um, say the type of your variable is extremely long in a general in a uh, C++ or Java style of writing uh, the type and variable you would write uh, let's say it's really really long uh, and then you would write the variable name in this case you kinda have to strain your eyes to get to the important part which is the variable name so in, in Scala having the variable name first makes a lot more sense Secondly, um, Scala can usually infer the type of the variable, so or uh, the type of the variable. So you usually don't even have to specify this in the body of the function. So now that we have that, let's move on. Um, our goal is to print "Hello World," so we're going to "Hello World" here. And basically, what this is. Uh, this is a pre-def, meaning that you can use it without putting anything before it. And if you're coming from Java, this is equivalent to system.out.println. If you're coming from C++, it's pretty much a print. And then the, the line part makes it, it gives it a backslash in at the end. So there's no need to put that. Um, you just have print line. OK, now um, one thing you'll notice about this line is that there's no semicolon. and you're probably screaming blasphemy at this point, but Scala does not use semicolons by uh, convention. You can use semicolons um, if you like. If you wanted to have multiple statements on a line, or if you just like semicolons, then you can put semicolons. But usually, you you don't you don't have to write them, and you don't need to. And uh, so this should print "Hello World," and let's test it by pressing Run. And as expected, it does print "Hello World." Now let's expand this a little bit and store hello world in a variable. Um, in Scala there are two types of variables. One being a variable that you know, like you can change the value, and then one being like a, a constant or if you're from Java, a final. So it can't be changed after you assign it. And uh, in functional style it's uh, you usually use a constant and uh, 
later on that and we'll, we'll go deeper on that but right now um, since hello world doesn't need to change we'll just use the val keyword which means a value and a val cannot change um, if you wanted to write a variable which can change you'd use var so val and the name of your variable being hello world equals hello world and so what's going on here is um, we're setting uh, a, a a final variable to hello uh, being named hello world to the value hello world and um, as you can see Scala can infer the type of hello world to string we didn't need to write uh, string afterwards Scala is smart enough to know that but you can write it if you want it like um, in certain cases that may be necessary or you may just like it I don't know but um, this way it's very clear on what you're doing it's that's not very uh, it's very concise. There's not a lot of uh, boilerplate there. Okay, and now to print that value's contents, we'll just give it the variable name here. And let's run that. And it's expected, hello world. Now you could also do the same with a variable, a var type, and same, same output, although we could change this hello world variable later. So that should give you an understanding of the the basics of Hello World.